students in today's session i am going to discuss trick to find percent yield actual yield theoretical yield questions how we can solve easily because generally students when they see these words percent yield actual yield or theoretical yield questions they feel these are tough questions but this simple trick whatever i'm going to discuss now which makes you confident and next time onwards you are going to attempt this these kind of questions without any confusion let us start this uh, theoretical yield questions before going through this video i want to tell you one main important thing this what now what i'm going to tell you that will make you confident and keeps uh, keeps this co uh, concept for long time in your mind for example a reacts with a b and it forms ab initially one mole of one mole each of a and b are taken what students a is reacting with a b and we are getting ab in this a is one mole and b is also one mole clear and 0.5 mole of ab is obtained how much we got 0.5 mole what is the percentage yield of reaction just with a common sense if you think that if one mole of a reacts with one mole of b how much ab will get one mole one mole we get but how much we got only 0.5 we got 0.5 is exactly half to 1 which means that 50% yield we got we expected one mole and we got only 0.5 mole clear what is the percentage then we got 50% 50% this is called percentage yield what is the percentage yield formula see here percentage yield or simply percent yield equal to moles of what is percent yield moles of product formed experimentally experimentally how much we got we got 0.5 experimentally this one we cannot say on our own it will be given in question maximum cases it will be given in question if it is not given in question these two informations has to given any one if it is given we can we have to calculate this and then the, we, this we should find it clear experimental thing will be given in question this is how much students it is given for example prod, moles of product formed experimentally it is how much 0.5 and moles of product formed theoretically theoretically how much we are expecting one mole because one mole of a reacts with one mole of b how much we have to get one mole so this is one mole for percent 100 into 100 so 0.5 into 100 50% this is the yield always whatever we expect the product theoretically from a balanced equation will be less than the experimental one uh, sorry experimental one will be less than the theoretical one why because experimentally we do some mistakes in the uh, lab maintaining of conditions or any side reactions may take place during the main reaction because of those reasons this experimental product may be less than the theoretical product this how much is the yield we are going to get we We are uh, we are going to get in that particular reaction is the question. This is the meaning of the question. Let us see some questions based on this. Here, one more point I want to discuss with you. In moles of product formed experimentally, sometimes which is also called as actual. This is actual yield. Why it is called actual yield? This only we are getting, and this is called theoretical yield, or which is also known as calculated yield. Calculated yield. You may observe different terms. What are those different terms? Percent yield equal to. What is that, students? Actual yield, 
actual yield in the sense which we get experimentally that is actual yield divided by calculated yield or theoretical yield this theoretical yield we do through calculation from balanced equation into 100 this is the formula and percent yield may be asked or Theoretical yield may be asked or actual yield may be asked. Let us solve the question to understand this better. Eight moles of A and twenty moles of B reacts to form three moles of A to B three. Calculate percent yield of reaction. First, write the reaction. A is reacting with a B, and we are getting. A to B3. See students here it is given how many moles of A to B3 we are getting product how many moles we are getting 3 moles. Here itself you can find that what is the actual yield what is the actual yield we are getting 3 moles. It is already given in the question. Now theoretical yield we have to find easy actual yield already given in question we have to find the theoretical yield once you get the theoretical yield we can calculate percentage yield very easily let us see how to calculate theoretical yield a reacts with a b and it is forming a to b3 whenever you write a reaction trick number one balance it immediately two moles and b is three then next is write the number of moles given in question. What is that students? Write the number of moles given in the question. How many moles of A is reacting? 8 moles. How many moles of A? 8. B is how much? 20. These two already given in the question. Fine. Next trick number 2. After writing tip number 2, tip number 2, tip number 1. What is, that, what is the stoichiometric coefficient here? Just which is present before this A, 2 and here it is 3. Now, take the ratio. Point number 3, take the ratio of what? Number of moles by stoichiometric coefficient. Then what you will get is 8 by 2, here 20 by 3. Then you get 4 here and here it is 6.33. Thing is the one which is present in less amount that is a limiting reagent. The one which is present in lesser amount that is a limiting reagent. You have to solve the question completely based on limiting reagent. Clear students? What you have to do? How you have to do? First you have to write the reaction. Once you write the reaction you have to balance the reaction. After that take number of moles given in question. And next is stoichiometric coefficient. Later take the ratio. Just to take these two ratio and which number is the lowest number you get that is the limiting reagent. Clear? And once you get the limiting reagent, solve the question based upon the limiting reagent. That is the main point here. 2 moles of A is forming how many moles generally? 1 mole. 1 mole. 1 mole of A to B3. 8 moles now, 8 moles according to the question, forms how many moles of A to B3? Just do cross multiplication 8 into 1 by 2, that is 4 moles. How many moles? 4 moles. This is the way to calculate what? Theoretical yield. Means from this reaction we are expecting 4 moles of product should form. But according to the question how much we are get, how much it is forming? Just 3 moles. Then what is the formula? Percent yield equal to What is the percent yield? Actual, actually formed moles is 3. 3 divided by expected is how much students 4 into 100 then 75 percent clear is it clear see what is the main trick here you have to find the limiting reagent without finding limiting reagent if you solve try to solve this question that's it you feel this is very tough question and you leave it now see this one this is a test yourself question I am giving to you.
प्लीज ट्राई द टेस्ट योर सेल्फ क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू जस्ट लिजन एंड लीव इट then you won't get more command on that particular concept if you listen the simple tricks and if you solve these questions sure you will get good command and practicing is important uh, suppose one month before you few listen one concept means again you should go through that your notes or the classes again you should listen then only you can uh, recollect all the tricks see this question 8 moles of a and 20 moles of b is forming a to b3 you have to calculate how many moles of a to b3 is forming and here question is percentage yield is given percentage yield is given just you have to find the moles in previous question percentage yield is not given percent yield or percentage yield is not given we calculated now in this question it is given we have to calculate number of moles of a to b3 Uh, try this question and answer uh, me your uh, uh, comment me your answer thanks for watching please do like if you think your friends also should get benefit of this simple tricks like you then please do share with them and be part of their success thank you your komli mom